Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing with some tangerine flavoured Kool-Aid. Now if you can get hold of Kool-Aid it's really really good to dye animal fibres with because it's got citric acid in it so we don't need to add any more vinegar and it's got food colouring in, It's got this one's got yellow 6. Now this food colouring isn't actually one that is readily available in the UK um, so I'm not sure what the E number is for that. But this is really, really good to dye yarn with because you don't, it's all food safe. So you don't have to have any dedicated dye equipment. In this video, I'm going to be dyeing this sock blank. Now it is a double stranded sock blank. So you can see here that there are two strands knitted together. Uh, so it's two lots of 50 grams knitted together to make this 100 gram sock blank. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Uh, in four ply and the reason it's knitted together like this is to create two identical uh, balls of yarn to to knit with so you can make two matching socks. Yeah. I have frozen this Kool-Aid. It is, the food colouring in it is yellow six but in high concentrations it does look orange. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna place these ice cubes on the yarn and just going to let them melt and then once these ice cubes have melted I can heat set this. Uh, not really too sure what I'm expecting to see. Uh, I've only, I've frozen uh, Kool-Aid before and I did a sort of solar dyeing with that which was a lot of fun. But I've never actually dyed a sock blank before, so I don't really know what to expect. So I'm just going to leave this. The sock blank is dry. Now I'm going to leave this for the so the ice can melt. And then once it's melted, I can heat set this. I'll heat set it on the stove and I'll probably have to add a bit of water to it. It's been a couple of hours now and I've noticed, if you look here, all the colour has actually come out of the ice cube. It's on the yarn, so that's just ice, plain water now. I think that one, that's got the tiniest bit of orange left in it. That's really cool, I didn't expect that to happen. And the ice has melted, and it does look pretty cool. I'm really quite happy with this. But the, I, was, I didn't know what to expect with the uh, ice cubes, and you can see the, they've sort of just stayed in their patches. There's a little bit of spread, but not, not much. So what I'm going to do is an awful lot of white. Now, I don't mind a little bit of white, but that's just too much white for me. So I've got out some green apple Kool-Aid that I'm going to just speckle onto here. Now I have got my gloves on because this is full of food colouring. Uh, it's yellow five and blue one. There we go. I'm just going to speckle it around. I don't know how potent this one is. Oh, got some nice patches there. It smells lovely. I love the smell of green apple flavoured stuff. Uh, hopefully, there we go. Oh, we can see some lovely breaking there. I'll zoom in in a bit. I'm speckling, sprinkling all this on until I've used up the whole packet. There are some beautiful blue that's coming through on this. Oh, I love it when colours break. Oh, this smells so nice. <laughs> Still a little bit left, but I think I've probably used enough now. I think I've got a nice colour and I'm just going to wipe my fingers just on this. I don't want to waste that. So here are some of the blues that I've put, that I pointed out and some yellows. It's so lovely to see this green breaking into the colours that it's made of. I'm just going to add some water to this. Okay. Make sure it's all submerged. Okay, I'm going to move this over to my stove. Just going to let this uh, come up to the boil now and let it gently simmer. It's gently from the other side. Ooh. Not too bad. I don't think 
the greens haven't really come through. Tell you what, while it's on the heat, put that over. Oh, some, some lovely bright blue specks have come through. I'm just going to sprinkle the rest in here. Hopefully we'll get some nice greens on this side as well. Just going to pour it all in. Let's go for broke. Yeah. You can take a look over here, you can see the colour is just on the surface and it's breaking already. Those blues are coming through and the, the dye is, the, is just in the water, it hasn't even hit the yarn yet. That's really cool, I didn't expect that. This has been on for about 20 minutes now and it looks like there's no colour in the water at all. So I'm going to turn this off and let it cool down. This is completely cooled down. So let's wash. Not expecting there to be any bleeding, but no, no. Doesn't look like there's any bleeding. I'm gonna add some washing up liquid just to get rid of all the extra stuff that we don't want in here. Because Kool Aid is not just citric acid and food coloring. To get rid of all the extra artificial flavorings and stuff that's in it. It still smells like green apple. Uh, so. right, still no bleeding. So I'm just going to rinse this through a couple of times, just a couple of extra times, just to get rid of the, the apple smell and everything else that we don't want. But this looks pretty good to me. I'm happy. Now I can hang this up to dry. Here is the finished dyed sock blank. Now I'm really impressed with how the ice cubes have dyed the, um, the yarn. So we've got the colour has pretty much just stayed where I put the ice cubes. Um, there is a bit of orange sort of spattered all around there. And that's because I, when I rinsed out the ice cube tray, I just sprinkled the, um, the water from that onto the sock blank. And then we've got the the heat green, which has broken into beautiful blues and yellows as well. So we've got all this going on. Sock blank, I just love all these blues that are popping out everywhere. I think it looks fantastic. And then look on this side as well. A bit more spread as this was on the underside. But still, it looks. I think it looks lovely. And um, these would make great pair of socks i think thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it do please click like and subscribe to my channel make sure you've got notification turned on so uh you get notified whenever i upload a new video i normally publish my videos on a monday between 6 and 8 pm or uk time and uh, leave a comment let me know what you thought of this video let me know what you thought of this technique uh, do you want to see me do this sort of technique again and um, let me know I like to experiment with different dyes and fibres and techniques and all sorts. So one, one week I might you know, freeze some Kool-Aid and dye a sock blank with it. Another week I might uh, use a colour combination that uh, someone on my Facebook page or Instagram has suggested. Uh, another week I may be dyeing something completely different that I've never done before. So there's always something different and something to enjoy on my channel. Thank you so much for watching.